Hi, wrestling fans. I'm Bob Caudill. Welcome to another outstanding professional wrestling event brought to you by Jim Crockett Promotions. So let's go ringside now with David Crockett and Tony Schiavone. We have seen great wrestling throughout the night, many different styles, many different divisions, and many different uh, companies, obviously. Our thanks to all the different announcers. But now we are going to the reason that we are here. Yes, the Nature yes. Boy Ric Flair has had the greatest career of any wrestler in the world. Anybody can tell you. David, he was a part of Jim Crockett Promotions for many years. He was a part of many different promotions. There was been nobody like him. And for me to stand here with you, from this background, where we started in 1985 on TBS together, now we get to call his final match. His final match, and I hope not ours. <laughs> I hope not either. <laughs> oh, but I tell you what, the man, the king, the one and only Ric Flair. Let's take a look at this leading up to tonight's biggest main event. July 31st. National Tennessee, as promised, Ric Flair will walk that aisle one more time. Guaranteed this time to be the last time. Ric Flair is lacing him up one more time in 73. We gotta talk about Ric Flair's last match. A wrestling world champion and cultural icon. And Flair was training for his in-ring return. Me preparing for this match, trying to get back where I was 30 under it. It's hard to do. And this dude, he's taking bumps. Yeah. He's working. Heart. You know, the fact that he picked me and asked me to help him, the honor that this is. I remember growing up as a kid, I idolized Ric Flair. And I got to tell you, I, we had a plan today to, uh, we promoted it and, and all that jazz. We were going to have Jay Lethal on. No, uh, no Jay today. What's up with that? Uh, well, he, is he going to hear this if I say it? I don't care. I'm, he's the. He's got an attitude. He, really? he, wants to, he wants to be part of the show. And I, I said, that ain't going to happen. You know, that happens, and all of a sudden, everybody's feelings are hurt, so. You know, it's not, it's no fault of his, but he's not seeing it that light. And is there any room? Yeah, you got. I have a lot of respect for you. you know, we're good friends, above and beyond. But you're an okay next guy. But you're an okay next guy. Even if you really, really believe that, do you tell the guy that to his face? You do if you're an egomaniac like Flair. Growing up as a kid, I idolized Ric Flair. I knew how he disrespected Lethal. Hell, I knew how he disrespected me for the last 30 years. Jeff was over with him. For sure he could have never kept the pace. <laughs> I said it, Jeff. Here's uh, two tickets for uh, Jeff and his dad, front row. <laughs> Is it okay for a man to disrespect my husband the way that Rick did? He got exactly what he deserved in that parking lot. We thought we could do this reunion or match in a civil way. It's gotten totally out of hand. Rick got exactly what he deserved. Oh, yeah, give me your yeah, yeah. Yeah. Does this look like a full horseman right here? How's he look now? How's he look now? I love you, you son of I love you. The difference between you and me is I've been dead and I'm not afraid of it. This is fucking family. It's real. F you, Jeff Garrett. He's an active alcoholic. You don't know what I'm about. I'm prepared to die with a tear in my eye. I'm gonna kick your ass. Woo! One man, Woo! one leg, forever. Woo! But a man's got to do. Well, we
We have had quite a night. We have had many celebrities here. Ladies and gentlemen, The Undertaker is with us. One of the legends, greatest legends of the business besides another one. There's his wife, Michelle McCool, sitting beside him. Of course, we see Mick Foley, Diamond Dallas Page in the back. Taker, it's great to have you here, brother. Ringside what a for this special, match. Special night. Well, David Crockett, Tony, it's time for the main event. Yes, it is. And uh, Cyrus, I believe it's yours, buddy. Respect Jay Lethal as an athlete. You have to. You have to. Respect. You might not like it, but you have to respect. Man, you know Rick was right when he talked about the attitude that he has had. It's not the Jay Lethal I first met, and I. And obviously, when Rick Flair said, "You'll never be a main event guy," he took that to heart because he was training with Rick Flair. And his partner is a man who has been synonymous with this part of the country yes. in pro wrestling. We saw his father, Jerry Jarrett. We saw Jerry the King Lawler in his dressing room. And he comes back home here. It's truly a match that has the world talking. Huh? And he'll be the tag team partner of Jay Lethal here in this Ric Flair's final match. Worked with Jeff in WCW for many, many years. He was a horseman for a short period of time. I think we remember that. He was with them? With them. See? Didn't happen for long. Nope. And the thing about Jeff Jarrett is that his wife Karen will precede him here. As I think Jeff, if you take a look, and he's been, he's been wrestling here since the 80s, right? I think he is aged as well or better than most. Take a look, take a look at how he looks, man. He looks, Jeff Jarrett looks in phenomenal shape. I also say he was an asshole. I, I, I forgot to have that. Okay. No, Jeff Jarrett is in phenomenal shape. That he is. And, and does, does he truly have the motivation to go the extra? He's going to have to. Yeah, Rick's already said. Right. He, he, he's going to go. All the way. Sure. Jeff Jarrett, a Hall of Famer, inducted in 2018. Still works for the WWE. Was a four-time WCW World Champion. Six-time NWA World Champion. Started back as a referee in 1986. Son of a promoter, and you being the son of a wrestling promoter, yeah, know what that's like. 
My God, Doug Dellinger's here. Trying to hold the fans back as Jeff Jarrett has just completely gone unhinged. Had a lot of fun with Doug Dillinger, longtime security, head of security for WCW. Had a lot of fun with him today, but it's serious business now, guys. Yes, it is. There's Jerry Jarrett. Wrestling promoter here in this, what was the territory for a long, long time. He just pushed Conrad Thompson. He pushed Conrad Thompson. What the hell is he thinking? Hey. Okay, big man, get the ring. Hey, dude, Conrad made your podcast what it was. Bringing that guitar with you to the ring. You know as well, well as I know, David, with that guitar at ringside with Karen at ringside, there's a plan here to make sure this is Ric Flair's last match. He didn't bring it to play a song. That's right. All right. His partner, Ric Flair's partner, his son-in-law, one of the single toughest men that I've ever worked with in AEW, Andrade uh, Idolo. How about this, man? Kid Rock, there's Kid Rock. Kid Rock is here, hey Kid Rock. How about that? We've had so many people backstage for this. This is like a gala. It is a gala for Ric Flair's career. Andrade just recently married Rick's daughter, the great Charlotte Flair, one of the great women wrestlers. And what a, a great pick to be your partner. He's the spoiler. He's the spoiler. Yeah. He's the man, buddy. See him. Yes. So now, as he looks at uh, Jay Lethal, this could be uh, the beginning of a battle between the two in AEW. I like how he's just, he's waiting, right? Yeah. Smart. Don't get in the ring. Jarrett's walking around on the outside. And now the lights dim. And an entrance that we have waited for for many, many months since the announcement. One more time. Of one more time. You are looking live at Ric Flair's final match. Tony Schiavone and David Crockett. Very honored to be calling this. As you can see, the lights on the cell phones everywhere. Everybody oh, wooing. Yes. <laughs> and if okay. I'm Ric Flair, on, buddy, no, on. make them wait, buddy. Oh. Make them wait. This is your final oh. entrance. Milk it for all it's oh, worth. Yes. You're the nature boy, Ric Flair. Jeff Jarrett is act like an ass. Jay Lethal is an ass. Here we go. Woo! It's the white robe. One of the more iconic robes that he has worn throughout his illustrious career. 16 times. A Hall of Famer. It's the big gold belt. And it 
case you're wondering, that is the original big gold belt that he first donned in the 80s with Jim Crockett Promotions. That belt is owned by his other son-in-law, Conrad Thompson, who got shoved at ringside by that no good piece of, you know what, Jeff Jarrett. So there it is. Mike Kyoto will be the referee for this. Utah, there's Kid Rock standing up. We know the Undertaker's here. We saw Mick Foley, Diamond Dallas Page, Jerry Jarrett's in attendance. Mike Kyoto, the referee. Doug Dellinger, head of security. And to make it all complete, a man who was a longtime ring announcer in WCW. A man that I've known for many, many years. He's now part of Impact Wrestling. And he's our ring announcer, the one and only David Penzer will make the introductions. David, you may have to run for your life here, buddy. <laughs> Hang in there now. A tag team grudge match scheduled for one fall. When the bell rings, your referee, the legendary Mike Kyoto. <laughs> Introducing team number one to my left. Introducing first, he is the greatest first generation wrestler ever. He is the only man in this building to submit Ric Flair to the figure four. He is the franchise of Ring of Honor from Elizabeth, New Jersey, Jay Lethal! Now, Jay Lethal not only has this match to contend with, he's got a big match Wednesday against Orange Cassidy on AEW Dynamite, but that right now is in the rearview mirror for him, or right now he's looking ahead at Ric Flair. His tag team partner is a third generation promoter. During his 36 years in professional wrestling, he's a 12 time world heavyweight champion, accompanied by Karen Jarrett from Hendersonville, Tennessee, Hall of Famer, Double J. Jeff Jarrett. And this is out of his home turf, isn't it? This is his home turf. This is it. Their opponents in the corner to my right first. He is a third generation wrestler. He is a Lucha Libre legend from Gomez Palacio, Durango, Mexico. Andrade! His tag team partner is a man whose Hall of Fame career spanned almost five decades. Recognized by many as the greatest professional wrestler of all time, from Charlotte, North Carolina, the 16-time heavyweight champion of the world, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair! What an ovation. Oh, yes. Well deserved. What a wonderful career. Tony, and, think about this. Okay. Rick has won twice in this building. Twice. Yep. Right. Once against Ricky Steamboat in 1989. 1989. And then Randy Savage at Starcade in 1995. Absolutely. I was here for the 1995 one, David. You were here for the 89 one. Yes. One of the classics against Ricky Steamboat. But he is on the home turf, as you said, of Jeff Jarrett here. Flair 
will not be intimidated. You don't go this far in your career, be a 16-time world champion, be a Hall of Famer, have some of the greatest matches that did not even figure a title into. And David, I want to tell you this, buddy. I remember in 1978, wow. when he defeated Ricky Steamboat yes. on Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling, or when actually when Ricky Steamboat defeated him, upset him for the Mid-Atlantic TV title. It was Steamboat's first championship, and it defined, it started what would define one of the greatest rivalries in all of wrestling. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. And here we go. What anticipation. Fans are standing everywhere. I mean, they are standing. There's nobody sitting no, right now. No. Ric Flair's last match. Jeff Jarrett realizes that he may be in his hometown, but he's the visiting team here. Rick being very, very smart here. Just stand in the middle. Let Jeff Jarrett exert all. Oh, ah, all right, Jay Lethal. Oh, come on. Jay Lethal, known for a lot of things, as you know, the, the great Ring of Honor world champion, world television champion. He's had so many great, great battles in AEW with Sanjay Dutt as his advisor and the gigantic one in a billion Satnam Singh. They've made quite a team, but he's also known as the man, and he came out here, who could mimic Ric Flair's voice and his mannerisms. Well, Tony, it, think about it. Jay is the one that was training with Rick. Sure right? he was, right? He was his main guy. Right. So he knows what Rick can and maybe cannot. Cannot do. do. That's a great point, David. Side headlock takeover. Yeah. Head scissors by Flair. Mike Kyoto holds him back as Flair gets to his feet. Great to have Mike Kyoto do this match. Great to have David Pinger here, David Crockett here, Doug Dellinger. Doug Dellinger still fits into his coat, which is an amazing story in itself. <laughs> you knew I was going to get that in. Yeah. Okay. Tony, I have to tell you, I have my wife here. I have my children. Right. And my grandchildren. I yes. have my nieces and nephews because this is such a special. Absolutely. And I want to say to my brother, say Jay Jack Crockett, yep. I wish you well. And my sister, Frances, I love you both. Crockett family brought me into this business and something I'll never forget. And somewhere, Jim Crockett, Jimmy Crockett, your brother, oh, yes. is watching on. Right now into the corner. Lethal move, maneuvers him around, and this could be trouble for Flair. Let's see what Lethal does. Kyoto calling for the break. Ah, oh, man. Just trying to shoot. No. <laughs> I, I don't know what. Lethal should have. Look at Jay sticks his flip out. So you, you hit me. He should have known a receipt. He should have known a receipt is coming on. Oh, okay. You didn't talk about this before you came out? What the hell did you guys do? Stay in catering all day? He wants Andrade El Idolo. I don't know if he wants Andrade or not. All right, Flair will tag out. And here comes Andrade. Oh. All right, now see, I've got, I haven't seen him wrestle. Oh, my God. Oh, he is. He's something else, brother. Jay Lethal. Uh, he low with the side headlock. Shoulder tackle. Oh, great anticipation by Elo. And now, here we go. Both of them trading forearm. Elo hits the roll. Oh, Jay followed him in nicely. Great anticipation by Jay Lethal. And great anticipation by El Idolo and a cover. And a two count. Wow. All of a sudden, the heat got turned up, David. It did. All right. 
Going for the eyes. Back elbow here by Lethal. Another one. Here comes Jeff Jarrett. There you go. Oh, boy. I was... Now, Elo was ready to hit him, but Jeff Jarrett came in and listened to the well-deserved booze for the hometown son. Reversal. The, crowd, the crowd's got him off his game. Yeah, that's a good yeah. call. That's a good call. And with nice a couple of hip toss off. here. Oh. Full arm drag, twist, double that. And now, oh. Father in law wants in, guys. <laughs> oh, boy, Jared saw that coming. You're talking about chickens? Yeah. Okay, right. I think I just saw one. I think, we, I think we got two things at play here, to be honest with you. I think Jared knows what Flair can do. That's number one. That's why he backed up. I think two. He just does not want to give Ric Flair his moment no. on him. When it comes right down to it, yes. Jared would rather Flair's moment and shine on Jay Lethal instead of him. So he pulls away, slows it down. Flair holds, holds his ground in the middle of the ring. Absolutely tremendous little, last couple of days. On the side there. All right, we'll, we'll keep an eye on yes. that. Of course, this event, the Fan Fest Star Cast Five, part of it. It's been a great couple of days here in Nash. Oh, stop it. Okay. Okay, is that the Fargo shuffle? Is that what that is? The Fargo. Okay. Oh, man, just go kick him right in the, the <laughs> kick him right in the ass. <laughs> Right now, he's uh, has no defense. I think Flair's being very, very smart here. Yeah. I mean, let's face it, he's in his 70s. We get it. He knows he can't do what Nature Boy used to be able to do. So what is he doing? He's making this match his own pace, which is very smart. All right, Flair's, Flair's ready to go, but there you go. Tremendous. Uh, Rick Flair is. Oh, that, somebody's upset. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rick Flair is such a master at everything. Collar and elbow tie up. Yep. This right. time it's side headlock by Jarrett. Grinds it in on the side yep. of Flair. Try to cut that blood off to the right. head. Flair will shoot him in. Yep. Try to chop him. Blocked it. There it is. I heard that. Listen to the fans with Ric Flair. And Jay Lee. Oh! Low roll, Jay. Yeah. Going to need an ice pack for that later on. Sit outside by Andrade. <laughs> oh, okay. All right now. Hey. Where are you going? Hey, Jeff. Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Jeff. Maybe you're going to get Jerry Lawler to come out of the locker room here. Come on, big boy. thoughts exactly <laughs> oh, she's not a nice nice lady at all my god no Jeff the ones playing the mind games and the one that's control of this match ain't you it's Ric Flair Trying to get counted out. Now, 
No, he said, I, I don't think that. I, I just think he. I just think right now he has no idea what he wants to do next. I just. I mean, I really think they thought they, being E and J Lethal, that they would come in here and just steamroll Ric Flair. And the plan has gone awry. Flair once again just standing firm in the center of the ring. Mike Kyoto being very generous with his count. Yes. And I don't blame him. No fans want to see a damn count out. I don't think he'd make it out of the ring. <laughs> he didn't count out. No, you're right. All right, here comes El Idolo, uh, El Andrade El Idolo again. Oh, Jeff goes right to the eyes with that. And now uh, into the corner. All right. Tag is made, and here comes Jay Lethal. Oh, now, now. In Rick's corner. Here we go. <laughs> and the nature boy back in. <laughs> Somebody is very upset. <laughs> Those chops still find its mark. Jay trying to block it. Fans have been waiting for a woo for quite a while here. No, no, no. Jay Lethal tried to put the brakes on. Flair kept chopping away. Here we go. Hammer throw to the corner. Chopped him down. Flair said, okay. Andrade back in. Wherever you are watching this, I know you've enjoyed the night just like we have, playing, playing homage to this great Nature Boy Ric Flair. I know that, that we've had people watch from everywhere in the industry. We appreciate I'm you being with us. Yeah, man. Yeah. Great working with you, David. It's been a wonderful no, night. It's terrific. And Jay Lethal yeah. wait, hanging wait. on to El Andrade. He's got his leg. But what's, it's not that was great teamwork, man. Jeff Jarrett. I mentioned Jeff Jarrett began as a referee in 1986 with his father's promotion. Transitioned into the ring. Looks in great shape. I think he's almost ageless, man. I really do. Okay. Here he goes. Again. We're going to see a Fargo strut again. Okay, you know what? That's too, too many. <laughs> Not that I'm County. taking sides here yeah. or anything, okay. but I want to see Jay Lethal. And Jeff Jarrett get their ass beat, to be honest with you. Well, okay. Okay, and here we go. Right. Jay Lethal up on top. A la Macho Man. Oh, no, that time with a big axe handle. Little black machismo action that time. <laughs> it's one of these characters, David. I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> David looking at me like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Into the car. He may have an attitude, and I, and I really think Ric Flair was wrong when he said he'll be nothing but a, he'll never be a main event type guy. No, he is main event. Yes, he is. He is main event. All right, I saw Jeff out there working on his knee pads. So okay. You need to watch that. All right, absolutely. Good call. Jay Leith right in the face. Looking at Ric Flair and blowing Flair a kiss. Now I see he's laying on. He's not going to panic. I think he wants to punish. Right? He wants to punish. Him. Very well could. Right, Jeff Jarrett laying him in now here on Andrade. Look, he's a 
catch and nice the side of the head and it's the ear. Pick up. Oh. Oh. Flipped around. Yeah, Andrade fell on him, but Andrade, apparently the, the head got him right in the, as Gordon Zoli would have said, the solar plexus. All right. Is Andrade going to be able to make a tag here? Flair's getting ready to come in even without a tag. What's he going to do here? Chop. Chop again. Sends him in upside down. Oh, look at this. Oh, Rick Flair. Rick Flair was one step ahead. He knew it was coming. What does he want carrot for? What's he? What the hell's it? Uh, what is shoe. this? Her shoe. Oh, her shoe. Yes. We know what happened last time. Oh God. Her high heel shoe. I think that's what it was. Yes. yes. Right. Yeah. There it is. The point of the shoe, I believe, right to the top of the head, or maybe the forehead of Ric Flair. And now she paint brushes him, getting the blows in. Ric Flair. Boy, you, you talk about being in no man's land, David. Ric Flair is in no man's land. And now. Oh, boy. That's Megan. Is that Megan or? That's well, she's had enough, <laughs> and so have we. All right. I'll fucking kill you! Come on, Megan! Come on! 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 Come Well, I mean, it, oh my God, oh, well, got there it. you go. Got him. Right, and you know what? This is positioned exactly where they wanted to, right in front of Flair's family. That's all he said, he wants to put it. They want to make it right, look, there's, there's, there's Wendy. Rick's longtime partner. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I, uh, stop it. Stop it, Karen. I don't know how much Rick. Oh. <laughs> the dirtiest player in the game. Yeah. Did you see that? He backed up, holding his chest, like, oh, oh. <laughs> Jay Lethal comes in. Ah, poke in the eyes. Yeah, baby. Oh. Come on, baby. There you see Mick Foley, the Undertaker, watching on. Undertaker's wife, Michelle. Front row for this. Jay Lethal. And Andrade it's going in the ring and out of the ring. Yeah, man. Flair. Oh, my God. Bleeding. Jarrett's going to hoist him up. Wait a no, minute. What are they no, going to no, do? No, 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 no. No, you're no, right. No, no, no. Woo! Flair can barely hold on to the top. And, and Look at that. No. No, no. He's going to suplex no, Ric Flair. No, no, no. My God. No. My God. No. Whoa. All right. Let's see what Ric Flair's got left. One, no, no. two, saved by Andrade. Not so sure he could have kicked out. We'll never know. Uh, Rick is down. He's not even trying to get up. 
Look at that. Just pressing on his on his wrist, on his hand. What is he's going to the figure four? Of course, Jared. Jared has been known for the figure four as well during his career. And there it is. It would be a horrible, horrible way to end this great career if he, if he would end it with a figure four. Being put into the figure four, I should say. Flair. And Andrade goes to the floor hard. All right, so as you can see, Andrade's on the floor. Flair has no one to tag here. And Je Jeff is down, too. Jeff is down, but right. he's got his partner up in the corner. You see the Flair corner's Woo! empty, and there's Jay Lethal. Fans Woo! chanting for Flair to Go! get to his feet. I wouldn't say that, but they're tag, and here comes Lethal. Uh -oh. oh, now he's going to try to toy with Flair here. This is arrogance personified. As they continue to chant the name of Ric Flair here in Nashville. Jay is up. Jay once again. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Missed the King's elbow. All right. I'm trying to He wants in. Come on, fans. Get behind him. Come on. Get him up. Get him up. Get him to that corner. You can do it. Suck it up, Rick. Come on. Come on. Hands and knees, David. Yes. <laughs> you talking about it. You talking about with purpose. Andrade is just wiping him out. Good. Short suplex. I'm not so sure Jared knows where he is right here. Yes. My good friend JR would say, stacking him up like cornwood. Kick him. <laughs> kick him. Kick him like a dog. You tell him, David. Yeah, come on now. Kick him there. <laughs> oh, he said it. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> he said it. David Crockett said it. Here's a cover. One, two. Oh. Jay Lethal makes the save. <laughs> Oh, oh, this God. is so much. Thank God. Oh, Ooh, oh my God. God. Jay Lethal took a nasty spill that time. I think he may have gone shoulder first there. And that mat, I walked around on, on the floor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty thin. It's just there. Yes. Now, Andrade up top. Ooh. Hit him with a DDT from the top. He'll make a cover jump very close to the ropes. Yeah, it, it, Karen is the right video. there for him. And so is Jay. Stop. Stop. Get it out. Wow. You, get it out. Rick Flair's last match, as you can see very clearly, Jim Crockett promotions back. David Crockett, Tony Schiavone back together again. 37 years after we were first on together on TBS. Ooh. And full no, sir. are standing now looking around can flair make a tag yes he made a tag still no referee Kyoto is down and out of the ring andrade going after jeff jarrett karen pulls him out of the way rick is crawling over to jay 
long run. He can get there. He can get there. As Vince Lombardi once said, what the hell is going on around here? He's covered, but no, no ref. Ready. No ref. Oh, my God. David? He's got the guitar. I told he, you he wasn't going to try uh, to yeah, Absolutely. When he came to the ring with it, you knew damn well what was going on. Oh, yes. He wants Jay Lethal to pick up Flair, and he is going to end this for good. The 16-time world champion in his last match. It cannot end this way, folks, please. No, no. Come on, the greatest of all time. Do something. Andrade. Andrade, Andrade is down. Celebration is complete. As you can see, he's bleeding. He is winded, as you might expect. But damn it, he is still the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. And he wins with Andrade his final match. Thanks to a couple of son in laws, Andrade and Conrad Thompson, who helped out. confetti sprays down here over this arena. Karen needs to roll her husband's ass out of here. Thank you very much. And David, I'm going to go down to the ring. This is, this is fun. 
Hell, you can cry. We're all crying, buddy. We love you, man. Wendy, Megan, Conrad, members of your family here. I first hold this microphone for you in 1983. We've had some great moments. This is one we will never, ever forget. You are the greatest pro wrestler ever. You are the greatest professional wrestler ever, and I'm honored to be standing next to you. And you can bleed all over me, I don't give a damn. Ric Flair, we love you, buddy. I don't know how anything that is so special in a man's life could happen twice, much less happen better the last time. To have you here in the greatest wrestling town, one of the greatest, I hate to say greatest because then everybody gets upset, but I had one of my best matches of my career here with Ricky Steamboat. All my family's here. We've made jokes about me being married five times. But well, all the kids are here. One wife, but all my granddaughters and seven are here. And, and my friends are here. And, and I swear to God, guys, if I didn't have enough pressure on me tonight, fucking Kid Rock walked in the fucking locker room and said, <laughs> he said to me, he said to me, I got a night off. How about entertaining me? I said, no shit, bro. I'll do my best. So, thank you for coming out. This was my last. I adore all of you. You are what make people like me and everybody that wants to walk through that door tick. We can't, we can't lose it. And I appreciate you all coming. I hope I didn't let you down. I don't remember half of it, but... Thank you all. God bless. My family, my friends. Uh, God, you, you, everything you hear about me is true. I'm going downtown with Kid Rock tonight. How about that shit? Goodbye. There's nothing more that I can say. Ric Flair, the man.
But for now, so long for now.